third vial so till now we had completed all the seven seals discussion interpretation for the seven trumpets we had also completed the first vial and the second vial now let's move on to the third vial and it's there in verses revelation 16 chapter verses 4 and 5 let's read these two verses revelation chapter 6 verses 4 and 5 and the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters and they became blood and i heard the angel of the waters saying you are righteous o lord the one who is and who was and who is to be because you have judged these things let's find out what happens in the third vial in the third vial rivers are turning to blood and we need to understand what a vial is a vial is god's judgment on the papacy likewise seals are god's judgment on the dragon which is the pagan rome and trumpets are god's judgment on the first beast which is the catholic roman empire which is divided into two eastern roman empire and the western roman empire now the vials these are god's judgment on the papacy the second beast what happens in this vial is the rivers turn into blood let's look at the interpretation within the river you find waters in the waters what are waters revelation 17:15 the waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples multitudes nations and tongues let's have a look at uh, hosea 13:15 the reason why we are looking at this is because this is upon the rivers and fountains of waters and they became blood they became blood so we'll have to look at what are the rivers and fountains Hosea 13:15 let's read this Though he is fruitful among his brethren an east wind shall come the wind of the Lord shall come up from the wilderness then his spring shall become dry and his fountain shall be dried up he shall plunder the treasury of every desirable prize Here God says his spring shall become dry and his fountain shall be dried up whose spring whose fountain it's Ephraim's spring and Ephraim's fountain so here god is judging Ephraim and he says his spring will become dry his fountain shall be dried up it's talking about the people of Ephraim it's talking about the northern tribes the 10 northern tribes the interpretation of the third vial is massacre happening in european rivers because europe killed the non catholics Europe killed the bible believing christians so now now god is giving back god is judging and these christians who are killed they are asking in the fifth vial how long o oh god how long o oh god before you judge these people on the earth god says wait for a while and god gives them white robes we discussed about this in the fifth seal so now god is paying back to the people who butchered the true christians the massacre in european rivers it happened because napoleon bonaparte he started a continent wide war napoleon bonaparte he started a continent wide war it happened on the land it happened on the rivers it happened on the seas as well and napoleon said i will prove an attila you remember this guy he was a guy we discussed in the third trumpet in the third trumpet all his wars major wars it happened in the waters specifically in the rivers rivers like danube rivers like po river rivers like the wet rivers and similarly napoleon bonaparte has he mentioned about himself he waged lot of wars in the rivers in the rivers rhine danube there were lot of dead bodies and most of these dead bodies were catholic dead bodies because this is a judgment on the catholic nations it is a judgment on the papacy and it is a judgment on the catholic nations Let's look at what happened in certain years. During the year 1792, war was declared by France against Germany and the next year against Sardinia. And consequently, all those towns watered by the Rhine and the Alpine streams became scenes of carnage. And these are the river wars. And the Alpine rivers. What is what are Alpine rivers? You must be knowing the Alps. the alps one of the mountains in europe and there are a lot of rivers from the alpine streams and these rivers are the rhine river the danube 
the po river the wet river all these are alpine rivers and there are a lot of rivers which were fought on the rivers battle of marengo battle of austerlitz and the reason why these rivers are filled with blood because they killed the innocent christians they killed the true christians the pope killed true christians as part of the roman catholic inquisition and there were two groups of innocent christians one was waldensians the other one was albigenses the third one was huguenots and again calvinists and hussites john huss was one of the guys who gave his life for jesus they burnt him alive and the people who followed john huss as true christians these are called as hussites huguenots the french protestants 1 lakh huguenots french protestants were killed in france as part of the saint bartholomew's day massacre albigenses there was a crusade against the albigenses it's not a crusade against islam this was a crusade against the true christians the pope raised up an army just to fight the true christians there was a crusade against the waldensians crusade against the albigenses and there was a butchering of the huguenots 1572 in france just in 3 days they killed 1 lakh true protestants but protestants i'm talking about the true protestants in the older days not the fake protestants which go to the building churches these days <clears throat> let's look at revelation 6:10 how long o lord holy and true until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth they are asking this question god is answering their question god is avenging the pope and his army and all the catholic nations and look at all these uh, armies that got butchered in the rivers there are a lot of battles which were fought in the rivers and this is what god does if they touch his children they had shed the blood of saints and prophets let's look at uh, revelation 16:6 and 16:7 let's read these verses for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets and have given them blood to drink for they are worthy and i have heard another out of the altar say even so lord god almighty true and righteous are your judgments so why is god killing all these uh, non obedient people disobedient people in the waters because for they had shed the blood of saints and prophets and you had given them blood to drink giving them blood to drink means because they killed the blood of the true christians now their blood is in the seas and the rivers and the fountains let's read isaiah 49:26 i will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine all fe- all flesh shall know that i the lord am your savior and your redeemer the mighty one of jacob and here through isaiah god says that they shall be drunk with their own blood will anyone drink their own blood this is symbolism drunk with their own blood in the sense they will kill their own people they will kill their own people here catholics are killing catholics this is the judgment catholics are killing catholics france is killing catholics in the entire europe except for except for england every other country is butchered by france but the question is why is france why god rose of france that's the main question here so if you want to understand this we need to understand the massacres done in france and by france 1487 ad when pope innocent the 8th he commanded a crusade against the waldensian christians waldensians these are true christians they had a bible of their own even 1000 years before we know that uh, the first printed bible it was printed in 1450 but these waldensians they had their own true bible even 1000 years before the olden manuscripts they read those manuscripts they followed those bible manuscripts and pope raised up a crusade against the waldensian christians and this happened in southern france roman catholic soldiers responded by murdering thousands of bible believing christians men women and children all of them were murdered in 1487 ad the reason why we are looking at this to understand why god chose france to kill all these catholics in europe 1540 to 1570 ad what happened papal rome sent army after army of roman catholic soldiers into southern france and surrounding areas in an attempt to exterminate 
the waldensians bible believing christians these roman catholic armies butchered how many 9 lakh people 9 lakh waldensian christians and this is just in a 30 year period these are just samples there is a book called as fox's book of martyrs f o x e fox's book of martyrs it is a very old book written 200 years before it has got a complete history of all the killings of the pope done even 200 years before and let's see few more information 1572 1572 roman catholic soldiers butchered upwards of 1 lakh french protestants these french protestants are called as huguenots this happened this event is called as bartholomew's day massacre look at this bartholomew's day massacre this is an event which happened in 1572 and it didn't happen in a village it happened in paris the heart of france it happened in paris heart of france just in 3 days the true christians who are called as huguenots in france they were butchered by the roman catholic church in just 3 days more than 1 lakh people got killed 1685 ad roman catholic french king louis the 14th he is also called as the louis the great because the reason is if anyone obeys the pope they'll be called as a great sometimes they'll also be given with a saint sainthood constantine the great the reason is he promulgated christianity constantine is called as constantine the great so like this there are justinian is a saint emperor justinian who gave the papal primacy to the pope in 538 ad he is a saint in the roman catholic church similarly louis the 14th is called as the louis the great roman catholic king louis the 14th at the urging of his priest confessor jesuit priest revokes the edict of nantes what is edict of nantes it is a toleration of the protestants they were tolerating the protestants they were not killing the protestants but he started a persecution of the protestants huguenots and how many people were killed 5 lakh people got butchered 5 lakh people these are just samples we are talking about more than 100 million people this is just few samples and you can read this book called as fox's book of martyrs this is the book that i was talking about i have an old manuscript this was first published in 1563 this was a book which was written like 400 years before and uh, this book you can download it from the archives from the original archives this book talks about the gruesome killings of the roman catholic church of the innocent christians so that's why god raised up france because there were plenty of protestants who got killed there is no protestant to be killed in france anymore so finally god raised up france to kill the other catholics how long o oh lord this was the cry of the saints how long o oh lord you can have a look at the french wars of religion saint bartholomew's day massacre a group of people called as albigensians there was a village called as albi in france these people are called as albigensians and waldensians huguenots are the french protestants so these were true christians pope he raised up army after army crusade after crusade so sometimes we think that crusades were raised up against islam maybe one or two crusades against islam but most of the crusades were raised up against the true bible believing christians so what is the fulfillment here it is butchery of the catholics by the catholics in europe in european rivers these are the european massacres in the rivers that's the fulfillment of the third vial now let's move on to the fourth one